another dramatic race. It all kicked off at the first corner. Let's look how it started then. Yiffy Ye would lead us from pole position. Dunner in second place. Daz in third. As we turned into the first corner, Louis Foster in fourth was sadly tagged into a spin. Benjamin Pedersen making contact. And the two double R teammates would be out of the race on the opening lap. It was close out front though, Yiffy led the way as we went up Eau Rouge with Dunner in chase, Daz likewise, Yiffy and Daz making contact at Le Coombe, dropping the pair down the field as Dunner would lead the way going through Le Coombe on the first lap. The instant at turn one though would bring out the safety car as we got going again, there was more overtaking going on there with Esna making a dive up the inside on Cohen. Then we got restarted, Dunner made a brilliant restart and it was one of the things that would help him win the race as he immediately eased the pressure on himself. Cameron Daz would lunge down the inside of Esna there to start making his progress through the race. This was where Maloney and Glenn Van Berlo made contact. There you can see front to rear and unfortunately that seemed to pick up damage for the pair who would start to drop down the order. Glenn Van Berlo though would keep fighting all the way to the end and eventually would go on to finish in sixth and second of the rookies. We had Nicholas Cruton fighting through though. That was the moment he passed Cohen to help secure the rookie victory over Glenn Van Berno. But out front, seven seconds clear of Maldonado would be Lucas Dunner and he would take his fifth win of the season. Maldonado on the podium for the first time. Ye on the podium for the 12th time. Okay.